Hi everybody, thank you for coming back and watching yet another video of mine. Um, I want to say thank you to my new subscribers and a big hello. And I'd like to say thank you to those of you who are returning and thanks to those who are new. And I hope I don't bore you and waffle on and doped up on a lot of medication at the moment. So I do waffle on and do that and, and try and make light of things so that I don't end up crying. So I just thought I'd. Um, have a little chat about things I've been up to and what I've been doing I mean like oh whole shopping and all the housework and everything like that but as you know I'm bedridden so I don't do that so in my bubble my bedroom I have been busy making phone cases for my daughter's friends who are going mad for minion phone cases. I made one for my son last year. Last year, I think it was. Yeah, and um, there's a photo on my Instagram. If if you if you follow me, you'll know you'll see it. If if you don't. Um, my Instagram is knit and crochet mad. Knit and crochet mad. Some people can't can't quite get to grips with that, but it's just. I think it's my accent as to why I found it so easy, and but it's just like saying knit, mm, like no more. Stupid me. Knit and crochet mad. Knit and crochet mad. Um, and my daughter asked if I could make one for her so I am just knitting while I'm talking to you my daughter asked if I could make one for her and um, I did and this was last weekend mm, no last Wednesday a week ago she went to school on the Thursday and came home with a request from her best friend who wanted one so I said yeah I'd do one I have the same phone so it's just easy enough just to make the same thing um, and I'd started on the, the next day she was coming here anyway and um, I said I would do it. My daughter went to school on the Friday and came home and said, Mum, I have two more friends that want one as well. So there's a group of them and all four of them are going to be having minion phone cases. But as of now, I am still waiting for them to try their phones in Jade's case so that I know what size to make and whether it will fit or not whether they want one eye or two eyes or a button on the back or I don't know maybe I'll find out tonight when Jade comes on um, and then I I had a lot of extra medication yesterday so I fell asleep early while messaging Amy sorry Amy but I, I woke up at 20 past 4 this morning and I thought I'd sent the message but I hadn't it AD said my husband said um, it was still, my me, me hand was as if it was still holding the phone but there was no phone in it um, and my daughter gets up at 6 o'clock I don't, don't know why 
I don't know why we used to have a problem getting her out of bed and getting her to school. I'm tired, I don't want to go to school. But now she's up and I think it's because she's happy. She's really happy where she is. Um, she has lots of friends who support because she was picked on a lot in junior school and she wasn't she really wasn't happy um anyway she said to me this morning mum could you make my friends um a minion toy for a little brother and I, I went well I've already got one to make so I can make another one and she went to me um my friend's little brother doesn't stop cuddling the cakes and he's two or three and how, how can you not how can you just not do it when it's so young so I have to now I've, I've said I will wait until um, I can get some more yarn and everything I need to be able to make it safe for a child to use I keep keep putting the wrong bit of hair behind my ear annoying anyway um so I've got that to do I have one to do for my oldest brother as well who likes minions as well and I made him a little minion key ring um well it wasn't really a key ring but it ended up being a key ring it was sort of like this big and it ended up being a <coughs> sorry it ended up being a key ring sorry got a, re a, a chest infection but because my doctors are not nice and made me feel like I'm not worthy of their time and anything like that I've, I'm ignoring every new problem that's coming up um, ignoring the fact that I've got ear infections and just pushing myself through I can't, I can't, I can't really I can't really bear to contact them. And my occupational therapist called me the other day and she could hear how much pain I was in and she said, Are you still not going to contact the doctors? No. I'd rather, I'd rather, um, go through the pain than to go through the emotional pain of it and so I've not, not bothered to contact the doctors in it'll be nearly nearly a year so anyway I don't want to talk about it I don't, I don't want to get myself sad so my husband keeps reminding me that it's my birthday it's my own. Um, I don't really feel like I've had any birthdays since I was in my early 20s <laughs> because for all that time I've been stuck in my bed and before that I would go out and I would do something and I would celebrate but I, in all of them years there's only one birthday where I've actually been out of the house and I went to my mum and dad's they only lived at, they only live 11 miles away and I went to my parents for my 30th and had a few hours but it's I can't get in and out of the car without you to lift me and I'm he's small and I'm not small anymore I used to be but not anymore and it's very, very painful and also embarrassing to have to be lifted from a wheelchair 
into the car and then onto my car seat so I'm hoping that I can get adaptions done to the new car so that I can get in it easier um, anyway I'm going to stop talking I've stopped knitting stop knitting I've been I'm being um, practicing continental knitting so I did a bit of a bit of rib two by two rib I can't see focus 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 I can just see a little bit there and I did a bit of two by two rib the stitch mark is just there because it was on the side and I always clip them on something I have them everywhere anyway I'm going to show you a few things that I've got recently um, I want another. I want to give away on Instagram for a project bag. I have my first project bag. I'm so excited. This is my project bag. My first project bag. It's a sock project bag, and it has the Eiffel Tower. It has stamps all over it. It's, it's stamps postage stamps with the Eiffel Tower and other things which is a crown butterflies very pretty and then my strap which is pretty green with I can't remember what that pattern's called can't remember and it also has It has a Eiffel Tower Eiffel Tower um, project marker progress marker so this this was the phone case I made for my son last year the minion case. The new the girls ones are thinner than this and they have a big yellow button there so they can be covered over for school and I'm using my favourite 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 cotton acrylic mix which is James C. Brett cotton one which that draw right there is full of reds, blue, white, pink and also my box down there it's got more packs that haven't been opened yet and then I'm using this which is a bit of a mess because my nephew got hold of it <coughs> and if you're on, on my Instagram you will see my nephew is crochet mad and he's two and so is my nieces and anyway, he held, he plays with my hooks on the bed for hours. I'm using this. This is another cotton acrylic mix, and it's Wendy Sorrento, and it's it's lovely and soft. They both are. Um, with my bag from the lovely Naomi. At this is this is her business card. So knit create and her details are on the back. Oh, this one focus in it focus. Oh. Anyway, inside it has these which has all the yarn weights the iron weights, the numbers of the iron weights it also has the gauges it also has your recommended needle size in US and metric as well and it then also has underneath it has the crochet one so it's not just knitting it's for crochet as well and it also has explanations on, on the bottom so that's Naomi at Sonic Create and 
Naomi had some problems and she was late in sending my fries, which I don't mind. It could have took a year and I wouldn't have minded. I don't, I'm not like that. Anyway, I've waited a year for prizes before, believe me. <coughs> and she said, I've, I've, as an apology and as a thank you for being so understanding, um, she put me a present in. Which came in the form of this. Little blue box. Which had in it. You're not going to be able to see it. This beautiful silver chain. Oh, you can see it now. This beautiful silver chain with clasp on the bottom, and it has five stitch markers on on there. Five stitch markers and. Is a long chain. Oh, I don't like it. It is a long chain. And let me show you these beads. And these beads. <coughs> and when I opened it, I went to me. I went to Eddie. Oh, how nice is that? She, 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 she didn't have to do that. It's beautiful over there. Okay. As you do. Well, thank you, Naomi. I love my bag, as I told you. And I love my necklace. It's beautiful. So, I'd go and, go and check out our bags. They're absolutely beautiful. Um, also, I got a great deal on Spock. I don't know if you've ever heard of Spock, but I said I'd managed to get a really good deal. And for five pound with postage, so two pound for four balls of <coughs> yarn, and then three pound for postage, which I don't mind. Postage. I um, I got a great huge bargain. I got these four. And then I got this with it as well, which is one of those Chinese yarns. But I have a drawer full of those and the nice nice and soft. They're thin but they're nice and soft. Um, this is DMC's Natura or Natura Just Cotton. Natura. I can never say some of these words. just can't get my head around it. Like, I can't say I can't say contour. I can't. I can't say it. It's meant to be. Well, you know what it's meant to be, but I can. I can't say. It. I have to say contour, which doesn't sound right. Anyway, I got it in. It's just colour N seventy eight, and it's a lovely. It's like a tall colour. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. Like a top colour. Like. <coughs> oh, I don't know. And then this one, which is a brown, but it's got like a hint of a purple in it. So I keep scratching. I've got, got really bad bumps and lumps. I have an allergic reaction to something. Um, and then this colour, which is not the colour it comes out on the screen. It's like a. Um, it's like. Um, I would call it a. 
um, forces blue and RF blue but you might not know what that is so like a slaty creepy greyish blue it's not not like that at all so that was my bargain my other bargain was on the um, yarn winding video of my husband which bless him he winds all of my arm I can't do it it's very very painful I can't do it <coughs> sorry and he was winding up my um, other bag which was some soda snuggly four ply and I got 16 balls for eight pounds um so I also want to show you this I got the new crochet now magazine issue three so I've had all three issues now and in that I spot the zany zebra now in there it's done in three colours of star for special um rose pink um cloud and oh, I can't remember the other colour but I used um pink or price wise in parchment and then I used clematis and I use lavender and on the top here you're supposed to do the loop stitch it's the first time I've ever done the loop stitch I'm so happy with myself do the loop stitch for his, for his mane which he is now a she and then you're meant to cut it all level but my daughter liked liked it like this she liked the loop stitch and this is no, it's the wizard bra. And oh, my daughter loves it. And um, this is also on Instagram. And um, the day I'd finished, I had fell asleep early. When I woke up, my husband helped me to the bathroom and to have my wash and everything before bed and um, we peeked into my daughter's bedroom and she was asleep holding holding her zebra and she loves that and and so I thought I'd do that I thought I'd, I'd show you that um, I do have a couple of other things that I want to show you and um, first is it was my anniversary, my um, nine year wedding anniversary last Thursday on the 30th of June and we don't have a lot of money in the next few months because a company who have to do us mad for a year literally have made, brought me to tears I've, I've lost count how many times um, anyway, they've, they've they're leaving us with no money for the next well until October, but then they'll be gone and bye bye no more. Um, anyway, my husband came back from Boston the other day and bought me this book, which I love, and I'm really happy with. And he thinks because it didn't cost him a lot of money that. I should get more. I'm happy with this. I really am. It's got beautiful patterns and beautiful. I call it my happy book. I love books like this. It has gorgeous patterns in and fantastic designers. And I've actually made this. Oh, 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 which way am I going? This one, this one, this one already. 
I made that um, a couple of years ago from it was in Simply Crochet magazine. But that's my new book. And I love it and thank you to my amazing hubby who puts up with me. And I was on Shabbat again and I got this book for my, uh, me and my children and my hubby. So we have stuff to do in the holidays that aren't going to cost us a lot of money. We get messy crafts and pool out. They've got all of their stuff and and everything they have everything and so I just thought it could be something fun and different and all of the kids can get involved in it no matter how old they are as long as they don't get anything that's toxic and this cost me a pound two pound ten in with postage and I think it's a fab book. It, it introduces you to um, silk screening, printing, painting onto fabric, all sorts. Embellishing fabric, <coughs> excuse me, stenciling. It, and it's just a really good book, and it's by it's. You can get it at www.dk.com which is Darling Kinsley Darling Kindersley That's what it is And the book it was printed for <laughs> on a car bridge and it has authors Fiona Bubble Susie Johns, Jane Cameron, Montaz, Benjamin Hussain, and Dorothy Wood. A really good book. So, I do have other things like magazines and things like that, but I think I've waffled on enough now. Um, I see, I just want to say thanks again to all of you we've all been fantastic um thank you to amy for making me cry on your video didn't want me did you um and thanks to sean for the shout out thanks to everybody on instagram who's been brilliant <coughs> i don't have my youtube account um on my instagram I didn't have room to fit it in to be honest with you but if you are on my Instagram and you would like to win if you'd like to take part in my giveaway which is there's three prizes because I reached 400 followers and um, so the three prizes one is um, knitting related two is crochet related um, which which will include things like yam but, but I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna say too much but they'll both be knit and crochet related and the third one is a Ravelry pattern to the value of five or six dollars I think I said so what you need to do is if you're on there head over to knit and crochet mad and um, click like on the, the giveaway picture and also write in the comments whether you're in the UK or rest of the world because um, the, U the, the knitting and the crochet one is only for UK which I'm really sorry about but I don't have the funds to pay for loads of postage at the moment but that's why I added on um, a pattern of that value so it's open to the whole world for that one um, and say whether you want to be for the net the crochet all and you'll be entered the giveaways one and until the 25th of um, July 
give me time to get stuff together because I didn't think I would hit this 400 mark just yet but I have and I'm, I'm so thankful for everybody I've got some wonderful um, friends I'm, I'm making some wonderful friends and I really appreciate it because I don't see my friends um, I'm just cooped up in this room most of the time um, I do have family come, my sister comes and helps my husband, my kids help me and and my brothers come and see me and so I, I'm not totally cut off from everybody but now I've got YouTube and Instagram and I don't really go on Facebook to be honest with you but I've made some really nice friends and I really appreciate it and I think you're all amazing, you're all lovely and I can't thank you enough and um, thank you again to my sub subscribers I really appreciate it, I'm sorry if I'm waffling on um, right, I'll go now thank you so much for watching take care